Okay, so here we're trying to break radical 32, or the square root of 32, into its simplest radical form. And what that means is you want to look at the square root of 32 and break it up into its factors, because you can take the square root of its factors to break this thing down. 32 it, to the prime factorization, it's 4 times 8. 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2. Those are both prime, so let's stop there. And 8 is just 2 times 4. Now when you have this set up, that means, of course, that this is 2 to the third power, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 4. And what you're trying to do is find all the perfect squares that are kind of hidden in here. So 2 to the third, think of it as 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 times 4 times 4, and we find all of our perfect squares, this is 2 times 16. 4 times 4 is 16. All I did there was rewrite 2 to the 3rd into 2 times 4. Think about 2 to the 3rd as 2 times 2 times 2. Excuse me. That's just 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 times 4. And I'm kind of hunting for anything I can take a square root of. And we have this now, and we're actually almost done. 32 is the same thing as 2 times 16. So that means what? Well, it means radical 32 is equal to the square root of 2 times the square root of 16. We're just breaking the number out to its, into its factors. The idea being the square root of a number x, y, is equal to the square root of x times the square root of y. So if two numbers are a factor of another number, uh, let's say, well, 32, you can take the square root of its factors and it will not change the result. We're not going to touch the square root of 2 because it has no other perfect squares um, as a factor. But 16, here, we can take the square root of that as 4. So that's radical 2, or square root of 2 times 4, which is usually written as 4 times the square root of 2. Our answer here, and we have that right here as choice number 2. Alright, hope this helped.